Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we'll discuss about uh, introduction to network security. So, in this class, you are going to understand what this subject is going to deal with, and what are the basics you need to have in order to understand this subject, network security. With an example, we are going to understand that. Let's take an example of client and server. Client means any mobile or desktop you are going to open an application that application is going to hit the server to get the data from the server so that you can use that application means the client and server are going to exchange the information means some data is passing between a client and server assume that the client is in india and the server is in located in united states means the messages are passing over the internet in between client and server there is an internet and the messages are passing over multiple networks over the internet so whenever the messages are passing over the internet the attacker may be anywhere in the middle and they can watch the messages what that we are passing between client and server so in order to stop this attacker he or she should not uh, check the data. In order to do that, what we have to do? We have to encrypt the message and send so that server can decrypt it. In order to do that encryption and decryption, the client and server has to exchange the keys. Then only they can do encryption and decryption. Means if you want to understand network security, the first basics you need to understand is cryptography basics. So please visit our playlist, uh, cryptography playlist and study that cryptography concepts then come to network security. The next thing you need to understand here is uh, whenever the client is sending the message, uh, if the message has to pass over the internet, it means the message is attached with uh, data link layer header network layer header, TCP layer header, application layer header, all the headers are attached. The client information is present inside that headers. Means the IP of the client, the socket, TCP socket uh, number of that client. All these information present in the headers. If the attacker able to check that header information, this attacker acts as a client whatever the message is coming from server he is going to take the message he is going to give the reply as a client this is what happens over the internet so that's why that's why the basics you needed our complete network security subject is to provide security over the network <coughs> This is what our subject is going to deal with. In order to provide that security means if you want to understand how we are going to provide that point we are going to understand in our coming classes our subject is completely dealing over this area. So the basics the second basics you need to have here is the computer network basics. So please go to our playlist computer networks watch the concepts then come here for network security. See, we, in order to provide the security over the internet, where we are going to provide, we are going to give you a good intuition here. See here, we are having IP protocols, means network layer protocols, similarly TCP layer protocols, application, application layer protocols, data link layer protocols. Above these TCP protocols, add new protocols that provide security, new TCP security protocols. Similarly, network layer protocols, above these protocols, we are going to add new network layer protocols that provide security. Similarly, data link layer, similarly, application layer protocols. So once you have the basics about computer networks and cryptography, understanding the network security subject is very, very easy. Hope you understand where we are going to deal about a network security subject. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates.
थैंक यू